Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video and I am so excited for this video because in today's video we are going to do part two Episode 2 of the ESC Torture Chamber, we have started a whole kind of little series deal on testing ESCs. All these manufacturers come up with all these crazy numbers like this guy right here, 100 amps. I ain't buying it. So guess what? Right here, I have created and designed the ESC Torture Chamber, and we're going to find out. We're going to take ESCs, we're going to put them to the test, and we're going to see can they handle it? Let's go! Alright pilots, so here's the deal. We've already done episode one, and episode one was epic. We took the TBS bullet, 25 amp ESC, we strapped her in and we punished it. And guess what? To all of our surprise, it freaking took it. And then you guys jumped in the comments. You made all kinds of suggestions, recommendations. Uh, we chose ESCs. Try this one. Try that one. You need to protect yourself. You need to build a box. You need a DC power supply. You need an amp meter. All this crazy awesome stuff. This has become so cool. I got flooded with emails and you guys had just great suggestions. So that's what we're doing. We are just going to continue to evolve this thing. We're going to add to it, build to it. Hey, we may even re model it and we're going to just make it better and better until we are satisfied. Let's be serious. If you go ahead and you head over to Publix or Walmart or Winn-Dixie and you pick yourself up a pound of ground beef, that meat is regulated. The FDA regulates that meat. It makes them cut it, make it, package it, sell it, everything under regulations with rules and guidelines and inspectors and making sure that people are being honest. Well, guess what? In the FPV industry, it is not like that. I mean, maybe we've got the FAA, but what are they trying to do? They're trying to stop us. They're not trying to regulate. They're not making sure that when these guys take a battery and they write 100C on it, that it actually is 100C. Or we take an ESC. Oh yeah, my ESC, 100 amps. Guess what? Yeah, right. I'm not buying it, and they're not being truthful, and that's why I'm here to set the record straight. Stop lying. There have been a few improvements boop, boop, or changes based on what we had from the first video. I am working on a real way to mount it, but right now I have taken a little bit of double side sticky tape. I ordered a amp meter online because right now i am just using my watt meter that's what's sending my pwm signal to my esc and turning it on i did actually build this guy right here uh this is a while ago and this is pretty old and i don't necessarily use it but this is an arduino i put a potentiometer and a little screen we've got a couple leds and a buck boost converter and what i've done with this guy is throwing a little bit of code on there and I can use it to turn up and down the PWM signal. Well, the thing with that guy is I don't get any measurements on amperage. I don't get any measurements on voltage, wattage, or none of that kind of stuff. I've even got a mini oscilloscope built inside of this. I mean, not really, but it's tracking the actual movements. I can see what's happening. It can even reset the ESC. I absolutely love it. You just pass your wires through here and it will measure the current. If I have it with me, I'm under the table, I'm behind my protector, whatever, you can't see it. So some of the guys suggested that we put an amp meter. All right, so the next adjustment, the next recommendation was well, why are you using batteries? Because by using batteries, as you throttle up, as you pull that current, your voltage is gonna drop, your energy is gonna drop, and you are gonna get battery sag. What they suggested was, Drain Man, why don't you hook up a DC power supply, you'll have an endless source of voltage and amperage and current and watts and all that fun stuff that you need, and you can continue to push and push and push and really test the ESC without getting any battery sag. And that's a fantastic idea. I don't know if it's going to work. I have no idea. I think this thing can do somewhere around 16 amps, 
It's got 16 amps in it. Eh, I, I don't know how far it's really going to go, if it can really handle that. This is it right here. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these things. All right, so the next thing to talk about real quick is protection because it got extremely, extremely dangerous last time, or at least I felt like it did. I was worried. I even got under the table. If you have not seen that video, you need to go check it out. I'll put a link for you down in the video description. Go check that out. What I have done is I jumped into Fusion 360. I used my modeling skills and I went ahead and used my 3D printer and I designed this guy right here. It's actually super freaking cool because it's got my Drain Man logo. I did it in a nice PLA filament. It's got a stand bottom so it'll sit flat on the table. All right, so check this guy out. Look at this monster. <laughs> Hopefully you're not getting a glare. I know you can see my, is that my ring light? It is, huh? All right, so now what we need to do is we're going to take my little trusty, dusty, busty. And look at that, huh? All right, can you see that? Look at that. So I should be able to just pick this up and stand it up. <laughs> So that's what this guy is right here. If you are unfamiliar with the packaging, it shows up just like this. And it says ES30HV high voltage. That means this guy can handle anywhere from 3 to 6S. So we're going to find out. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. I have two very large metal clamps on here. They are holding this thing down. I mean, look. I can hardly pick up on it. So it's going to require a lot of force, a lot of thrust to pull this up off the table. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So let's go ahead and power up. So we've reset our ESC. What you're seeing here is this is our amperage. Um, I don't have a way to calibrate it. It is saying that we're running at 0.2 right now, which... I mean, clearly we're not, we're at zero because uh, I haven't even spun this up yet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throttle my PWM all the way down, which gives a reset. You saw it move. Everything's on, everything's working. Let's go ahead and give it a little spin up. Here we go. Okay, very nice. All right, so that should now be in the right direction. Let's find out. All right, a little bit more. Oh, it reset. It reset. Ah, uh, I think that was <laughs> our power supply. I don't think the DC power supply can handle it. So. All right. It reset, giving it a spin back, forward, back, forward, made it reset. We're gonna grab a 4S battery. Let's put 120C on here, and we're gonna run it to the ground. Now, I'm gonna also put a meter on here so I can keep an eye on the voltage. Let's get protected. All right. All right, so 16.4 volts. We've got 0.6 amps. Let's torque this thing. Notice it didn't reset. It was resetting before with the power supply. So all y'all pilots, I think the problem was the power supply, guys. Here we go. Woo. Woo. Oh, oh God, I get nervous on this. All right, where are we at? We're at seven amps. We've only gone to seven amps. Why am I so worried right now? Let's see what that amp meter's reading. Over here. Oh, 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 oh
out right now. I, I can't handle this. I am the wrong guy for this. I just we're stressing out the ESC more and more. It's getting hotter. It's getting more stressed. You know, we're putting more amps through it. We want it to. We don't want to blow it up, but we want. Okay, maybe we do. But we want to find out, can it handle like real light flying? So if I was flying, I may jump up into the sky. Right now I'm cruising around, I'm checking everything out. Oh look, I see something, let me go up high. Oh, I'm going too far, let me come down. Power loop, power loop. Oh, I'm about to hit a Maddie. You see what I'm saying? That's resembling real life characteristics. But we also want to know that it can handle the air. Oh my god, I just flipped over the flight controller and launched them off the table. because it's low. It's kind of, I'm not going to say cheating, but we're not pushing it really hard with a 60% battery. So I'm going to throw that battery to the side. And what we're going to do is we are going to grab a parallel charger. I've got three batteries on a meter. I'm going to power up. All right. Let's see if it has any type of effect. What kind of effect? What does it do? Let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, so I'm at two amps. That's my two amps. Two point one, two point one. Four amps. Three point six. Whoa! Oh my God! Oh, no! I know. Oh my God! Oh my god. Whew, freaking out right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. 146 degrees and I would say that's pretty accurate Ow, it is still very very hot so this right here is the ethics s3 prop very low pitch but still has pitch nonetheless 
and you can tell by the blade if it has a lot of pitch it's going to be curved up so it can move more air I can demonstrate how thick that is or how much pitch look at that if that is not screaming pitch I mean it's almost like a it's almost like straight up standing look at that Ooh. this may pull this thing off the table and I plan to be behind this glass when it happens Can smell it I can smell it burning we're about to have a fire all right where's my thermometer all right here we go let's look together here we go oh my god a hundred and hundred and eighty hundred and eighty degrees oh dudes we should not ah ah pilots we cannot go beyond ah! That was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. I wanted to see. It's made the plastic mushy. It's gotten so hot. It's gotten so hot. It's actually beginning to melt the plastic. I've got washers on it, so I mean, that's a lot of plastic it's got to go through, but it still works. Still works. All right. I'm pulling the plug, pilots. Oh my God, so the ES30, Spedix ESC can handle it. If that's your favorite ESC, hey, kudos to you because that is a strong mofo. I just pumped 50 amps through that thing with several different propellers. I had three freaking batteries parallel together, pumping juice, and that thing took it. I am impressed. Now. If you want to know if your favorite ESC can handle it, what you need to do is jump down in the comments and let me know. What I'm going to do, instead of having you guys all scatter everywhere to try to, hey, do this one, hey, do that one, I'm going to pick the three most common that I think that should be up in next video, the next episode, and I'm going to put one in comment one, I'm going to put a second comment and a third comment. You guys go in, like that comment, comment on that comment, thumbs down if you don't want to see it. Let me know which one you guys want to know. Can it handle it next? We are going to torture another ESC, and I want to know which one do you guys want to see next. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.